Oh yeah. Starting it out with our wonderful battle between the brothers. You know. Kinda wonder how this is going to play out though. Sword, uh, a sword packing more pow power than, than the rebellion. Hmm. Virgil. <clears throat> I finally said it. So I don't gotta hide, 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 hide anything in anymore. Doesn't look so special to me. Yep. This is where it all started. <laughs> that day mother saved me and left you behind. The thing you don't know is she tried to save you too. She kept searching and searching until I killed her. I have no recollection of this tale or this place. It's all an illusion created by this extraordinary fruit. Its power, you see, is all I ever wanted. And with this, no. I will have everything. Interesting. No, brother, you don't have everything. That last shred of humanity that you still had? <laughs> you just lost it. That is nothing but the pitiful cries of those without strength. Come Interesting. To me, brother. I shall enlighten you. Dante! Now he's looking a bit more like his usual self. I don't like it. But, you know what I found interesting about that? It's, it's, it's not the fact that Virgil like changed or, 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 um, or like that, uh, he's now like willing to fight and everything. It's actually the fact that when I think about it, it's like Virgil's actually a little smaller or at the very least it's like like he's starting to look like himself again but like the crazy thing is is that like when you factor in and everything it's like wait a second like that he was is that he was co corrupted like like when you first see him in this right it's like he can't move he spends most of his time sitting down and then like the thing like that that uh, he, he was just just wearing it looks like he couldn't like it, it, it looks like that was a metaphor for the uh co co corruption lie that he had all over his body and whatnot you know and then slowly but but uh, surely it just left like the oh Dante's cursing never thought I'd see see uh the day for that so, I gotta be a little more cautious now like how I fight this battle now 
the thing's starting, man, to get super dangerous. Technically, I don't want to, but I have to. Well, Virgil isn't, isn't a problem, but I was looking at that and I was like, when he ate the fruit, like all of his corruption, like kind of just went off of him, like the corrupted version of what of what he was like when this of like when we first saw him. If the one who stands before him is his kin, that's ridiculous. The brothers of blood disagree on the very reason of their existence. They must fight. I don't think it's as as poetic as that. I think it's just a thing of like they just like to fight fight each other. Because like it's just something where like that brothers do, you know. It's sort of like having a best friend who basically like you just gotta constantly like come compete. You're late. Like like at the same thing. Just finishing that up. kind of thing. Is that really your brother? I'm afraid so. So he was behind all this. Your own flesh and blood. Right again. In the last throes of defeat, I see. You. V, get back. Things are about to get really messy. No, please. Let me. I want to end this battle with my own hands. Do not struggle, for if you can't even defeat me, then you've already lost. I will not lose, not to Dante. <laughs> I need power. More power. I know. How funny would it be if you? We are one and the same, you and I. I'll finish my thought after after you've this. You've lost me, and I've lost you. Yet we are connected by that one feeling. While wow, thy branches mix with mine. And our roots 
together join. I thought Dante was faster than that for some for some reason, or unless like unless they're doing these things faster than what he can actually sort of stop. Because he has a move like that, like you know, trick, trick. Whoa. So that's how the boy comes back. What is this? The illusion fades, huh? Virgil. The Alpha and the Omega, Virgil. <laughs> now that's an introduction. Oh, Christ. Back back to life. Ugh. Years and ate the fruit of the Clyphoth and gained power beyond reckoning, but Dante's new strength proved greater still. The furious battle reach, uh, reaches climax with Dante, with Dante finally bringing the Demon King to his knees as the life ebbed, ebbed from Yuras and V approached and merged with a fallen king who, uh, where, where once stood a man and demon, Virgil was restored. Oof, that's a mouthful. Uh, I do have a... It's pretty interesting, like that. That when they join back, back together, the uh, corruption faded. But I think it might have something to do with like when yours and ate the, uh, ate said um ate the Clyphoth fruit. I'll talk about that like at the mission screen. You got some pretty big cojones for coming back. Just don't know when to give up. Get out of my way, Nero. Yeah, that. Cause I was like, can't Dante do that too? Like they, they're Defeated equal in weakness. abilities and powers. That's no meaning. Come on, Virgil. Let's do this. Heal your wounds, Dante. Get strong. After that, we'll settle the matter. He does have a point, you know, cause Dante did just kind of come in from a very heated battle, and Virgil kind of like is just yeah, like I'm kind of healthy. You know, I kind of want to fight you evenly, man. Thank you, Nero. Take a breath. Damn it. If that's your brother, what happened to V? He returned to himself. Go home, Nero. This doesn't concern you. Like hell. I lost my right arm because of him! This is not your fight. I need to stop him, and that's all that matters. I'm not gonna let you have all the fun, Dante. You don't get it. Uh, let me guess. I'm dead weight? Well, you can that's shove not it up. What is it then? He's your father! What? <laughs> I was kind of waiting for this moment for him to just outright tell him. I had the feeling the first time I saw you, but I just wasn't sure. Even though that's kind of difficult to say, though. And then I saw how the Yamato reacted. And I was certain. He's your father. Now he needs an ass kicking. But I can't have you go kill your old man. Now this is some heavy. <laughs> now this is something heavy, man. Like this, like that. I'm actually kind of like, oh, I don't like. I don't even know how Nero really is gonna handle this, cause it's like, oh wait a second, man. Like within like the span of 
what happened to V. This weird guy just shows up and he's fighting evenly with, with Dante to, wait a second, he's my father? Oh, wait a second, like, you know, and it was like, it was already kind of evident, like, in this, where it's like that Nero kind of look, Nero looks up to Dante, obviously, because you can see why the dead weight thing, like, it hurts him so much, because he obviously looks up to, da to, to, to Dante, sort of like a father figure, you know, which is why he is a devil hunter and everything. If our positions were switched, would our fates be different? I don't think so. Would I have your life? And you mine? I wouldn't think so because you both kind of were like in the same p position. Let's settle this. The only difference is, is I... Like, <laughs> the only difference, Virgil, like, is that you both have a different starting starting weapon. You know, yours, like, cleaves, um, uh, cleaves things such as Dimensions and Dante's doesn't. Yeah, but this is about to start getting heavy, but obviously Nero looks up to Dante as if a father, uh, as if he was a father figure, and then to actually kind of come to, to grips that, wait a second, this guy is your father. Oh, wait a second, that's a problem. You paid for it, so consider it a rental. Hey, you can't just... Okay, okay, we'll take care of that later. Right now, you three get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go take care of old douchebag. Got a feeling this one's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> you know, so... I can see why that would kind of hurt Nero a bit. Oh, nice. Kalina Ann, too. Nico made it as a replacement for the lost Kalina Ann, identical to the original weapon with a special something hidden, 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 hidden within. And because since I found found the other one, you know, the ultimate ordinance uh, tag team, double Kalina Ann, <laughs> a dual wield of both Kalina, la uh, Kalina Ann launchers using a new function uh, of a Kalina Ann to use both in tandem. Yours and ate the fruit of Clythal. Oh yeah, this is basically like the thing for over there, but... But yeah, like the fact like that now that his father is back, like in the flesh, I can, you know, and the fact like that, obviously Nero kind of joined and became a devil hunter. It seems, it seems because of Don, because of Dante, like, like he kind of jumped into this line of work because not necessarily he wanted to look up to Dante, but basically because of the fact of like that, he kind of idolized him in a sense so most likely he would be like wait a second you know like he's sort of like a father figure to me so I kind of would so basically like uh, he would sort of like want to join this line of work work and everything you know to where that like he has his own mobile business uh, business and everything you know but then again you look at that same thing right thing thing right because because like it seems though is that Nero grew up and he didn't really have anybody because I didn't really look look um too deeply like into most of the comics and everything but based on how Nero is acting and everything it's more or less like he mostly did all this because hey man like I look up to Dante and everything else so it's like oh like that's not really bad you know but then on the flip side of, of all of that too it's like you have I want to say his real father just coming out of nowhere you know Virgil in this sense and it's like wait a second you know it's like what is he doing what is he about you know that kind of thing and then it kind of weighs and wanes, wanes on you that obviously he cares a, a lot about Dante and Dante cares a lot about about uh, about uh, about family you know because because even though Nero may have a lot of Virgil's like stubbornness and whatnot he still is a bit more like Dante in a sense, you know, like say like, so like it's like he acts a bit more like Dante, but like he's super brash, like how Vir, like how Virgil is. So you can kind of feel it there, but still, you know, like that is sort of how he comes off. Also on the flip side of that too, like uh, when I was thinking about when Virgil like was uh like why Virgil came back healed, is like when we first saw. Like when we first saw Virgil, he was kind of wounded, but then he comes back like like when they mer like when he merges back back together with V, like he's healed and normal. I feel as though as that like when Virgil purged his human half like from from his body, like that was still his corrupted form. But then when he had the Clyfall 
fall through. He actually healed himself back, back, back to normal. So that when they did, did rejoin, like he was just his good old normal self, probably with a sin form of himself, um, uh, of his own. But I could be wrong there, but that's just sort of how it came off to me. Either way, I'm jumping into mission eight, uh, 18 next. 